have here the first smart button to support matter over thread. That means it should be quite fast and reliable and should also be able to control any of your smart home devices regardless of whether you use Apple Home, Google Home, Amazon's Alexa, smart things. It should work for all of them thanks to matter. Let's take a closer look. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple Home smart home with new videos and live streams every week. Now, you probably have never heard of Tuo and that's because Tuo is a brand new smart home manufacturer on the scene. Their mission is to make smart home technology accessible, enjoyable, and beautifully designed, so they say. And they did come out the gate swinging with this new great looking smart home button. This is their first product available and it's the first button on the market that supports matter over thread. More on that in just a minute. They've also announced a matter over thread contact sensor and a new smart lock with support for home key. So this new 2.0 smart brand might be one that we'll be seeing more of in the future. I hope so anyways. Now the contact sensor begins shipping this month and the lock is available to pre-order now and will start shipping in September. But back to the smart button. And I should say this was sent to me for free so that I could test it out and try it, share it with you and everything here on the channel. But this video is not sponsored and you're gonna get my honest thoughts as always. So this button is available to order right now from the 2.0 website for $34.99 US. And there is a discount code that you can use to save yourself 10% throughout the month of July. I'm told that this discount code will work for both the smart button as well as that contact sensor. I'm also told that it will be available on Amazon in the coming weeks, but for right now, at the time of this recording, it is available just through their website. Now real quickly, what does matter over thread mean? Well, thread is a wireless protocol that is very fast and reliable. Think of it kind of like Zigbee if you're familiar with that, except you don't need a proprietary hub like you do with you know, most Zigbee products. Thread products can create a mesh network. So unlike something like Wi-Fi, where you know the more products you add to your network, you potentially slow down and bog down your network. With Thread, it's kind of the opposite. The more products you add, actually the stronger your Thread network really becomes because it creates that mesh network. And Matter is essentially an application layer. So it's a certification that is built on top of various protocols like Thread, Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Really, all you need to know here is that if your product is Matter certified, it will just work with your smart home. Matter products will work with any smart home platform out of the box, including Apple Home, Amazon's Alexa, Google Home, and Smart Things. Now, you will need a Matter controller that acts as a thread border router in order to use this button with your smart home. So, a thread border router can be a HomePod or a HomePod Mini, compatible Apple TV, Google Nest Hub, Smart Things Hub, or numerous other Amazon Echo or Eero devices. My initial unboxing was done first over on Instagram. Give me a follow over there if you haven't already for more behind the scenes stuff. But here is everything that we have in our box, our instruction booklet, a sticker pack, which I'm always happy to see included with a smart button. It also has a magnetic wall plate and comes with one CR2032 battery. Now, I personally really do love the design of this thing. It feels really solid in your hand, thanks to that magnetic wall plate. If you detach that, it is actually quite light, but still seems to be built well. You can see our Matter QR code here on the back. All right, so I wanted to pair the smart button in different smart home platforms since it does support Matter. I attempted Apple Home first, of course, had zero issues with that. It paired right in the Apple Home app uh, on the first attempt and has been working great ever since. Now, once you have it paired in any smart home ecosystem and you wanna add it to a different smart home ecosystem, say Google Home or Samsung Smart Things, you will need to put the device in pairing mode. And to do that, you could just go into the device settings and tap pairing mode. And this will give you either a QR code or a numerical code or both depending on which app you're using. Then you can use that to pair it in different smart home ecosystems. So I can jump over to Google Home or Smart Things app 
and pair the device in there using that numerical code. Now I was able to add the button also to SmartThings on the first attempt doing this. Zero issues there, it worked great in SmartThings. Google Home gave me a little more issues, which is not uncommon. I seem to have more issues with Google Home adding new Matter devices than any other platform for whatever reason. I didn't try Amazon's Alexa, but in Apple Home and SmartThings, it worked flawlessly, zero issues. Google Home is giving me some issues. I'll keep trying that, uh, but so far it's working great. Let me show you. I had to go grab the button since I put it on the wall, but I programmed it in Apple Home. So this is a program in Apple Home. A double click will turn these lights behind me off and a single click will turn them back on. So double click, turns them off, single click, turns them back on. So you can see in the Apple Home app, it's a little quicker. So it will, how fast it is will depend on you know, the devices you're using. So that light over there is a thread-based device. The lines right there are Wi-Fi, but let's see, double click, turns them off, single click, turns them on. And you can see in the home app uh, how responsive it is. As you can see, it kind of highlighting that single press and double press, it's pretty quick. Now I've used a number of smart home buttons. We have the Acara mini switch, which connects via Zigbee. We have a flick button that uses Bluetooth. Both of these require a proprietary hub to work with your smart home. Then you have bigger multi-button switches like this new one from Onvis. The older Eve button right here uses Bluetooth. Here is one from Ikea that also requires a hub. So lots of smart home buttons, but the Tuo button is the first one that supports matter over thread. And it has a great little design and build quality in my opinion. Now I am personally a huge fan of having manual control of your smart home devices in your home for guests and family members, even for myself. I just love using buttons and stuff to control my lights and things like that. And there's really no better way to control your devices manually than with just a simple button. And I'm told the battery life on this is estimated to be about a year, maybe more depending on your usage. So of course, only time will tell on that front. I'll be sure to keep you posted. Be sure to subscribe and join in on my live streams that we do here on YouTube every Wednesday. That way you can ask me for any updates on the battery life of this button or for updates on anything else that we talk about here on the channel. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.